Okay, we are going to uh, solve the swiper problem number 10. A bucket of mass 2 kilograms is whirled in a vertical circle of radius 1.2 meters. At the lowest point of its motion, the tension in the rope supporting the bucket is 25 newtons. Find the speed of the bucket and then how fast must the bucket move at the top of the circle so that the rope does not go slack. So, how do we get rid of Okay, so then uh, let's go solve that. Okay, so we are given that the mass is two kilograms. We are given the radius of the circle is 1.2 meters. We're given the tension at the bottom is 25 newtons. Okay, and here's our cir uh, circle. We can kind of sketch that out. It's a vertical circle. We have a bucket going around. And there's some tension at the bottom, and then we're going to look at the top too. All right, so for part A, uh, we need to find um, the speed at the bottom. Okay, so let's draw a free body diagram. So this is the bucket at the bottom. So we're going to have force of gravity acting down. And then it's moving in a circle, right? It's undergoing circular motion. So there has to be, uh, if we sum the forces, we have to get a result that points toward the center. So we need tension to be bigger like that. And then we'll set up our uh, coordinate axis as well. So this is the radial direction toward the center of the circle. And this would be our tangent direction, tangent to the circle. Okay, so uh, we can sum the forces. Again, everything is acting in the radial direction. So my uh, Newton's second law is going to simplify just to be the sum of the forces in the radial direction is m times the acceleration in the radial direction. And this, for circular motion, is v squared over r. Okay. So if I sum my forces, I said, uh, you know, radius, the radial direction point points toward the center of the circle. So any upward forces are positive and down is negative. So when I expand my sum here, I get tension minus the force of gravity equals m v squared over r. Okay. And then, um, so we're going to solve for v, but we can first just plug in tension minus mg, right? That's our force of gravity at the surface of the earth is m v squared over r. We want to solve for that. So we can multiply both sides by r over m. Okay, and then we just swap things around. So we get v squared is r over m, tension minus mg. Sorry about the trees blowing here, changing my light source. Um, okay, and then we'll take the square root of both sides. So we get V is the square root of R over M, T minus MG. Okay, and that equals, we'll see if I can plug in and without running out of room. My radius is 1.2 meters. My mass is 2.0 kilograms. Um, my tension is 25 newtons. And then I have my mass. 2.0 kilograms times acceleration of gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay, and if I plug in, I get a speed of 1.80 meters per second. Okay, check me, could be wrong. All right, and then part B, it says, what's the speed needed to go at the top? Um, so that the uh, just before the rope is going to go slack. So we're, again, we're going to find V. And our free body diagram, if we think about it, so force of gravity would be the same, right? So now this is at the top. OK, and if we were going super fast, we'd have to have tension acting down with that, right? Um, but if we, and if we slow down and slow down, the tension would get less and less and less, and we get to the point where just gravity is going to provide enough force to make it go in a circle. Okay, so that's kind of the situation that we're looking at. Um, 
All right, so we have, again, just the sum of the forces in the radial direction is mv squared over r. Now our sum from the free body diagram is just going to be, um, let's go into this section, so I'm not getting a weird effect here. Um, so this is just going to be the force of gravity. So that's mg is mv squared over r. So our mass actually goes away. We can multiply both sides by r. So we get g times r on the side equals v squared. We'll take the square root. And v is the square root of g times r. So it's the square root of 9.8 meters per second squared times the radius, 1.2 meters. And when I plug in, I get 3.43 meters per second. And that's it.